Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 65 or somewhere around there. I've been like 03, I keep forgetting to actually look, because I've been kind of slacking with editing these videos recently, and I'm not quite up to where I am recorded. Uh, but we are needing a another luxury car, because we have the Luxury Rollers Car Club uh, tournament unlocked here in Tokyo, so I don't think I have... Actually, I do. Should I try and use it? Hold on, where is it? Gimme, give gimme. Give oh my god. Where is it? I have too many cars. There it is. I think I should try and use it. I, th I think I have to. Performance shop. Do we have anything to do at all with this car? Oh, wow. It has a lot of upgrades. All right. I can dig it. Oh, no. The acceleration and handling are garbage. <laughs> the top speed is insane. Oh, this is not going to end well. Alright, so I'll give it a try with this car. If I don't get it, uh, I won't be surprised, to be completely honest. But I'll give it a try, just for the YouTubes. Oh boy. Like me. Like you. Ah. Tournament's like way the hell out this way. They've been pretty close to the garage beforehand. Oh god, this car sucks. <laughs> oh goodness, this car is terrible. Well, they unlocked a Jiffy G35 and $3,000. So, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, uh. This car has some. Uh, moderately okay qualities to it. Oh, hey, the Super 8 Hemi. I forgot about that thing existing. That's a very strange car. The uh, Super 8 Hemi concept, to be specific. This thing is the CL600. Or it's the CL55, not CL600. But let's go. Let's see how truly terrible this car is going to be. Come on, it's got a V16. It can't be slow. I mean, it really can be, but... Fun fact, uh, speaking of V16 Cadillacs, I actually drove a V16 Cadillac at one point. Believe it or not, they were actually cars that truly did exist back in the late 30s, maybe early 40s, I'm not sure. But I actually drove one in my old work, even though it kept... Well, it didn't really break down. It's just that the charging system for the battery was garbage, and the battery was garbage. So, it just wouldn't start most of the time. After, uh after shutting it off. So that was fun. Luckily it was a 12 volt system, I'm pretty sure. Which is probably why it was garbage, because the 12 volt system in 1939 or whatever year it was. Oh, uh, controller stopped working. Why? Oh, my fucking controller went dead. No! <laughs> All right, I gotta put batteries in my controller. I'm just gonna let this go because, I mean, there's no r saving this race now. Batteries. Um, I need new batteries. Do I have new batteries? That's a good question. Yes, I do. Over here. Sitting on top of my computer. Car just keeps rolling. Are these even... Yeah, these are double A's, alright. Stop hitting shit. It was going so well, too, damn it. I wasn't expecting my batteries to run out. Son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Finally stopped. Alright. Positive that way. I need this. Turn it back on. <laughs> People are already finishing. <laughs> Alright, let's pause. Restart tournament. Because I'm not going to accept that loss. I already saw this. I've saw this. Seen this. That's the second time this happened when we playing this game, hasn't it? I didn't think I used this controller that much, but I guess apparently, uh... Apparently I've used this controller enough to probably specifically play this game, because I don't think I've used this controller on my PC other than to play this game anytime recently. Although I have played a little bit of Horizon 4, I guess, recently. And by a little bit, I mean, like, probably under an hour worth. Uh... But apparently I've played this game enough to actually make this controller go dead yet again. Or was that TDU that I had it go out dead on? I don't remember. It was one of the two. 
Oh god. Why am I going this way? Excuse me. This was a terrible idea. Ah ha ha, the car won't slide. Oh god, this car is way too fast for its own good. <laughs> it doesn't handle worth the shit. I gotta use my Natchez though, obviously. And so far, it's actually looking to be somewhat promising for, uh, oh god, winning. Move traffic. That's what you get when you don't move. Oh my god. Now I'm having all the issues of driving this car. And that in second place, ding dong. There we go. I did get my first place at least, so that's good. Alright. Tough guy. Whatever. Alright, on the next race, which is a drift. I've done it before, but I can't remember what it was. At all. <laughs> but we'll see here in a second. We're gonna be like 70% through the game. Or through Tokyo. After this. I'm like 91% done with the game in general. I'm pretty sure. Because it says a percentage whenever you first like open the game and you select as a game save. Oh, it's raining. I just realized. Son of a bitch. That's awful. Bad vibes, dude. Oh, bad vibes. Oh, very bad vibes. Game's unhappy. I'm unhappy. Although, I am passing this Mercedes with ease. Going 200 miles per hour. Whereabouts? Somewhere about there. English is also pretty hard, not gonna lie. As you all know, I have all of the struggles with the English language. Oh, I actually went the right way. Holy shit. Oh! Oh, yeah, it's this race. I'm in this race now. Ow! Pitch! Oh, God! Go, oh, piece of shit! I like how my burnout did absolutely nothing back there, too. Oh, God! Go that way! <laughs> this thing does not turn at all. I don't know how I'm winning. I think it's just got, like, stupidly good acceleration. And that's the only reason I'm winning. Like, the only reason. Even though the, the acceleration was crap, I think the acceleration is actually better than, like, the CL55 and all that. I mean, it does have 16 cylinders, so, like, you know, it makes sense, I guess. Oh, God. Like I say, thank God this is not a lap race. One and done. Alright, gotta go fast. Top speed! Hell yeah! Alrighty. Is that? You said the exact same thing after the last race. Don't you have anything new to say, you dingus? I didn't look at the points, but I guess, I'm guessing that I'm probably winning no matter what. As long as I don't get maybe dead last. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. Oh, God. Artifacting. I like how the cars are the only thing that's not affected by the artifacting. Like... Everything else that 3D is, it doesn't make any sense. I guess because the cars are like, not predetermined objects really. They're kind of like, you know, because they're AI or they're player controlled, so... Maybe that has something to do with it, I don't know. I still find it annoying slash weird that it happens. Ah, oh, God! Bouncy! Bouncy! Oh god! Aha! 
It always fucking tries to slide too much, that, or more than it should. Ah, oh, shit. That was not the way I wanted to go at all. Somehow I'm still in first. I don't know how that happened. Oh, there it goes. Even that guy didn't even take the, the smart route. You didn't. You fucking piece of shit. That's what you get. You're trying to wreck me. Oh, God. Give me that. I want it, but I don't want it at the same time. God. Every wall I make contact with in this car. <laughs> Every single wall. Gotta go to the right on this one. You remember that? She's right, right here. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm still surprised I'm winning as easily as I am. I was genuinely, genuinely not expecting this. We'll go into the next one. AKA this one. Jump was nice because it actually just puts you straight out on the road you need to be on. Point in the right direction. There we go. That is that tournament down, surprisingly. So, uh, yeah, I think I would have won. No matter what. Oh, I would have gotten... No, I wouldn't have won. Because somebody else would have gotten more points. Anyways, I won the, G the Fiat G35. Which is pretty fantastic. And we get to see it here in a second. There it is. Probably one of the hottest cars on the road, my friend. But of course, you knew that already. Infinity G35. This two-door coupe is class and style. The 3.5-liter V6 engine doesn't hurt either. Remember when the Infiniti G35 was new? I sure do. Vaguely. Very vaguely, but I do remember it. And 350Z. I remember both of those cars coming out. Which almost makes me feel old, but it really doesn't. Anyways, that's the end of that tournament, so there we go. I finally used this stupid-ass Cadillac 16. But uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Midnight Club 3. And for now, I'm out of here. See ya.